scarred, I've been damaged, I've been bruised I've been feeling real lonely without truth Had to walk through the rain just to see the truth Had to feel the pain just to get over you I've been scarred, I've been damaged, I've been bruised I've been feeling real lonely without truth Alright, you know it's your boy Gut with Gut Talk we got a special guest in the building. Yeah, we got who we got Big T Wood. Big T Wood, not the little one, man. You know what I'm saying? But we're we're gonna get right into this right off of the rip. How you doing today? Good, good, man. Woke right. up at like six. Same. Tired as a bitch. What, what good, was the first thing you did when you woke up at six? Take your ass. Yep. I did. <laughs> right away. That's what I like to see. Right away in the morning. But let's start this shit off. So, how was your upbringing? Tell me yeah. about it. You know, where where are you from? Yeah. All about it. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Grew up a little bit in Green Bay. Went back and forth my whole life. So what was it like in Milwaukee compared to Green Bay? With pros, cons. Man, you know all that. it's pros and cons to both places, you know. You learn you learn a lot from both, but like you get your 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 street smarts from Milwaukee, you know, it's dangerous. You know. But in Green Bay, you, you learn how to interact with people. You know what I'm saying? So what would you prefer to live in if you had to Green Bay. Up? Why is that? It's safe. <laughs> Shit, boy, Simple as that. Simple as that. You know, I ain't got to do nothing. I ain't got to look over my back. I ain't got to, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. What so, do you have more good memories from? Green Bay. You okay. know? Yeah. Okay, bet. No, A lot sense. of good memories here. You have any any certain stories or any certain things from Milwaukee where you can be like, damn, I learned a lot today. You know, I, I've been to Milwaukee quite a bit, but... You know, nothing too crazy me happened there. I went to the rave a lot when I was younger. Yeah. A lot of concerts there. I've done a lot of concerts in Milwaukee, too. Is there any distinct memory where you can be like, oh, I learned from this experience? Because I have a, a lot of experiences from Mason City, Iowa. A lot of people, you know, think, oh, I'm from Iowa. I was farms. But to say I was from, you know, per capita amount of people, population, mm -hmm. is one of the, it was actually great, the worst city in all of Iowa. Mm -hmm. So I, I dealt a lot of shit growing up. That's why I moved, you know, so. I can I can kind of relate to an extent because of that. Yeah. So do you have anything like that or nothing? Nothing. Man, like that? I, I hope there's nothing like that. You know. This, this is a short story. When I learned not to piss my mom off. Oh, I I know I know your mom. Yeah. <laughs> Give me one word. What you mean? One word to describe my mom. Aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's crazy, man. Yeah. All right, we gonna put a picture of right here. It's just a picture of my mama. <laughs> man, I love you, mom. What? So I'm like 13, right? And she come home, and you know, I be bored. You know, when I get bored, I like to fuck with people. I like to annoy people when I get bored, right? That's fair. So she came in the crib, I'm bored as a bitch. I get to, I get to fucking with her and shit. <laughs> she, like, she like, you wanna go get some ice cream? I'm like, hell yeah, let's go get some ice cream. I ain't even thinking she on no bush. I'm thinking we really, she, you know what I'm saying? You really about to get some ice cream? Yeah, I'm thinking we really finna go get some ice cream. So we get in the car and shit. I'm like, I'm like, I'm seeing all these, I'm seeing covers pass. I'm seeing all these ice cream. I'm damn. My mom wants some covers. You feel me? You, like, there was plenty of places she could have stopped. Yeah. She just kept going. She getting deeper in the hood. Deeper in the hood. I'm like, damn. What, hold on. Like, we, we must be stopping somewhere. She stopped the car. She said, get the fuck out the car. Mind you, it's like 12 o'clock at night. Oh, it's midnight. It's, it's, so you it's, didn't say that. You feel me? It's night. It's night. I, I didn't even think about that you, before you, I got in the car. You did not want to get out the car. Yeah. I ain't, man, I sat in the car for like five minutes. She beeping the horn. She doing all this extra shit. Everything to get you out that Literally. car. So I get out the car. She like, hey, y'all, this GD out here. Beep, beep. No. <laughs> Boy, I get to running. I get to. Do, 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 do. I you probably never as ran as, as fast as you did that man, I'm going through backyards, hopping fences like the police chasing me. Did anyone come outside? No. Nah, I, I don't know. I was running. You didn't know you were I running. I was running. I was gone. Just I was like that. Was did gone. she pick you back up? Hell no. Nah. I found my way back home. Mm. Shit. That was a long walk, huh? Hell yeah. All the way on the opposite side of town. You know, but maybe that was a good thing that happened. You probably learned a lot that night. Yeah. Learned not to fuck when I ain't talked to her for like three days. Yeah. And she really went and got me did some she, ice Did cream. she try to talk to you? She not care? No, she didn't give a fuck. She just said, nah, all right. No, nah, she liked that type of shit. Oh, she talks. Okay. okay, okay. But all right, we're going to get back into some other things. So... What got you into like music? Obviously, you're here as an artist. That's the point of you being here yeah. today. You know what? You know, I, I know a little bit, but what made you first get into music? You know, want to pursue something like this? What was the first time you can remember really anything about music in general? Like, for real? Yeah. Like, I always been like interested in music. Like, I don't know, like, some always just gravitated me to music. Like, I'd be the motherfucker in the hallway at school. 
with with headphones on. But Loud it, as hell. But it, yeah. But no it, one can hear you. People trying to get your attention. On the Z. So, but if I ain't had no headphones, I got the Chromebook. You feel me? With, to to my ear. Chromebook? Walking down the hall, I'll be I'm one of the type of. Lie, that's a little extra. I, <laughs> I, I ain't give a fuck. I was listening to music, but however you had to do it. Yeah, but we really like when I first got locked up. Is literally nothing to do. You know, you're jumping, jumping ahead in the story, but I guess no. That's that's how I started rapping. All right, yeah, that, I guess. Sir. But like, I but you know, like with you, I always told you like the good. Bring me to the studio. Bring me to the studio. I'm we'll, to, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah, don't you, don't, we ain't gonna talk about that. Oh, we'll talk about it. Nah, yo, ass, yo, ass, shiesty. <laughs> <laughs> yo, ass, man, I could, I could have been blew up. Right. Yeah. No. I could, I could, I could have been the kid prodigy. Yeah. Stop the whole process. But okay, yeah. so you're in the hallway with your Chromebook or headphones, bumping music. Okay, anyone can listen to music in the hallway. That don't, mm. that don't take nothing special. Mm-mm. Okay, so how did you start putting, you know, get beat, start putting together? What was around the age you started at least doing that concept? Well, well, when I got locked up, I was just sitting in my cell, beating on my chest or beating on the beating on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just coming up with shit. And, like, that shit came natural. Because, like, like, I always felt like when you going through something, like, going, I don't give a fuck but what see, it is. But see, here that... The reason why I'm asking that is because you were hitting, you were, so well, I guess we'll get into this part of the story. So back when you were probably about, I want to say 14, 15, mm-hmm. around there, you used to hit my line all the time. That's, that's how long I've been running this shit rap. When he was 14, 15, he was hitting me up to record my studio and work with me because I used to record people back and, in the day. There was you, a time when I was making music. And what you used to tell me? I used to say, oh, I got you. Man, <laughs> every time I'd be like, yes, bro, tomorrow, hell yeah. Hit them up tomorrow, deliver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the thing, what crazy thing was, was, you know, I would always, I don't know. It wasn't even like I didn't fuck with you. I liked you. Yeah. It was just like, you know what I mean? I just didn't take you seriously. Yeah, yeah. I was just a little yeah, young. I just, like, another, just another young man, yeah. you know, just like trying to make music like everyone else. I was like, oh, not another one of these people. Mm-mm. Okay, so, you know, I was blackballing your studio, pushing you away, all types of shit. Okay, so... How did you go from that? You said you were locked up, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not trying to be a DJ Vlad here, but you know, yeah. I, I think I feel like the audience needs to hear how this transpired because I I've heard lots of versions of this story. Yeah. You don't need to get yeah. to the whole nine, you know, every yeah. detail, but maybe at least like a little quick recap of how we got there, maybe. Man, she we got we got the handcuffs put on us. They took the mug shot. I, I, need, I need a little more than that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, we, yeah. we don't want to get the what's misconstrued. Man. So, so you just woke up one day and got handcuffed. I don't think that's how it went. So. Yeah, I was just, I was just acting a fool. Just, just acting crazy. You know, Green Bay is not the place to do that. High speed. It's definitely not. Long story short, high speed chases and armed robbers. Good night. Yeah, that you know, you you rob people and drive cars fast. You know, normally that's not a recipe. Mm-mm. So how long were you uh, in jail for, or prison, I say, for? Three years. And what, what age were you locked up at? 17. So 17 years old, you went to a federal prison? No, hell no, state. State prison, yeah, my apologies. Yeah, yeah. You know? I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't know all the terms. Yeah, you know yeah. me, I'm just a suburban man. Yeah, you know? I mean, if I got to get down, I'll get down. You know, you, <laughs> that's always about that action. But, you know, I'm, I'm Mr. Clean record over here. You know I mean, what I mean? Chop so, on this motherfucker. <laughs> so you went to state, state prison at the age of 17. Yeah, 18. I spent a year in jail. Okay, so not a lot of people can say that. That's not a, a common thing. Shit, I don't so uh, what was it like? Mm. I hate. I, I know it was shitty. We already know that. But you know, like, what what was your mental like? Being like, damn, I'm I'm in jail at the age of 17 years old. Shit, I thought my life was over with. But like, I don't know. Like when you when you locked up for a long period of time, you get comfortable in a weird fucked up way. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just accept. Explain it. a little more. Like you know what institutionalized is. Yeah. Like, they got you on the schedule. Like, wake up at 8 o'clock. You know, that's... Uh, head count. So, you're probably a big Kodak guy, huh? Oh, yeah. Kodak talks a lot I'm about that. You. Yep. Oh, I'm yeah, I've never, I've never felt like I knew more about jail or experienced some shit until I was Kodak. Until you listen to that institution. Because I like Kodak a lot. You know, I'm sitting here, I'm like, damn. I'm, I'm hurting. Yeah, I'm not even yeah. there. That's real shit. So, okay, you... And how long were you in jail slash prison for? Three years. Three years. Yeah. So, three years you sat... In a cell. In this fucking cell. So what would you do? Tell me a little bit about the experience. So what what was your day to day like? What was the whole experience? Because like I'm telling you, a lot of people when they hear this, I say about ninety eight percent, not more, of people will don't relate to this. Yeah. Or they've been in jail for like a month or a week. Yeah. Maybe three years, a month is a lot big difference. So what was your day to day life like? She just just imagine like a a fishing in an aquarium. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, like everything, like, really, everything really, like, you know, like, people get, like, a persona of a prison and shit in jail when yeah, they watch movies know, and shit. You well, right, saying? you know, there's the, from what I understand from that, you know, there's the people that, you know, you gotta be, you know, hard about yeah, that, or people yeah. just want to stick themselves, be about the business. Yeah. Were you, were you the type of person, were you talking about people, or you kind of keep up yourself? No, I was cool, I was cool with everybody, you know, I, you know, that's how I am, like, I'm cool with everybody. Is it like the movies where everyone, was everyone fighting? Yeah, you know that's all you can do. Everybody angry. So were you in there? Were you in there fading people, or were you? Yeah, I'm doing my thing a little bit. <laughs> doing my thing, you know. But... Cause I'd hate the contact because you know everyone's prison footage is getting leaked right now in the rap game. So well, you gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna see those videos. Oh, okay. You gonna you gonna see that shit. You gonna be like, hold on. Okay. Okay. That's my nigga right there. All right, I got that. I'm gonna have to start making some emails. But anyways. <laughs> Um, so okay, you were in there for three years. When 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 you were in jail slash prison, uh, did you start, you know, the concept of writing music, making beats? You know, not making beats, no, I no. guess, but you know, you kind of do that. You know, you yeah. know what I'm saying, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. When did that start? Was it right away? Yeah, like literally. Yeah. Okay, do you think do good. you think you would be as good as an artist you are now if you didn't experience that? Nah, cause I really be. Talking about where everybody else talking about. I because got, you know, you could just rap cap like ninety five percent of the people. Yeah, do. Like, that's all like you need me, to do. you know, I mean I could do that. Right. So I could just make up some stories and that's you know, ninety five percent of the actual rap game, you know what I mean? Right. So what made you what made you uh separate, I guess, you know, what made you yeah, make just, music like that? Just about being true to myself. You know, you gotta have morals. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't wanna talk about nothing I ain't never did, talk about nothing, you know what I'm saying, I ain't never experienced. Like and the shit I rap about, it be like pain. You know what I'm saying? So like, you got to put you know, your- I like that. Yeah, you got to put your pride to the side to talk about some shit like that and really like, let a motherfucker hear what you talking about. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So after three years, you got out. What was it like the first day getting out? Actually, what was the, your first day in and your first day out? Both scared. You were scared when you got out? Yeah. I was- Were you scared or more nervous? Were you actually It was scared? both. It was like both. Cause like, Gee, I got locked up when I was a minor. Came out a door. Yeah. Like you feel me? Like I'm, I'm thinking like, damn, I'm ten steps behind everybody. I ain't got, I ain't even got an ID. I ain't got no social security card. I ain't got no, you know what I'm saying? I ain't you basically had, weren't a person. Yeah. And another thing was like when I got out, I wanted to get a job, do everything the right way. You know what I'm saying? But it's like was the, music on your mind at all that point, or was you just like, yeah, okay, yeah. that was, was on your mind? Yeah, that was my, that was my mission. You know, when I came home, I, I, I went, feel like you I hit me hard. up damn near as soon as you got out. Literally, literally, like when the, that was my mission, like to come home and cause I had I had big ass portfolio full of raps, still got that. You know what I'm saying? Still ain't record a percentage. You know what I'm saying? Like I still got them. You know what I'm saying? So like I just wanted to get in the studio. And we find this nigga Alex Craig. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Find this shout, nigga. Shout out to Craig. You best, know what I, mean? I best, set that up right away. Best, best studio man in Green Bay. Wisconsin, Period. Wisconsin, Wisconsin. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Fucking with him. So, <laughs> so okay, you got out. You know, you started making music ASAP, pretty much right away. And then, how did you? What was it like? You know, when you got out, was there anything you felt was like a lot different about society, the world per se? You know, did you keep up with things well in in jail? Because like I said, none of us experienced that. Like, did you know what was going on in the outside world a lot? Like, how was it to keep up? Shit, all I heard about when I was locked up was COVID. I ain't, and plus, I ain't really want to hear about nothing going on. Like, so yeah, what was it like for? I guess yeah, that's a that's, we can branch off that. What was it like for COVID in jail? Was there was there mass? Yeah. Was it? Yeah, yeah. But we, the the way they, you know, all we had was the news and like what the CEOs was telling us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We think in the world for now. We think it's gonna be a motherfucker a zombie apocalypse in this bitch. You feel me? Like, that's like, crazy. Yeah, I guess honestly that. So were you scared because that, or were you kind of like, yeah. oh, I'm not out there? I guess. But it was like, it was like two ways to it. Cause I was scared, but at the same time, I was like, damn, they finna let us out. You know, if something happened like a zombie apocalypse, y'all ain't finna keep us in this bitch. Right. You feel me? Y'all finna have to let us out. I guess it's a fair point to look at it. Yeah. Oh shit, I was I was cooling though. See, I never thought about it like that. That's crazy. Wear the mask. You used to get in trouble for not wearing your mask. And yeah, you doing, probably hated that. Yeah, huh? it was doing too much though. Yeah, it no, I bet they probably. Much. Put over your nose. Right. You got underneath the nose. Well, what is that shit? Like, bitch, can I eat? <laughs> <laughs> right, you got to spoon your mouth. Hey, 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 put your mask on. Hey. 
Yeah, let's do it. I'll test that. So okay, you know, you got you got out, you start making music, you know, you you know, got a job, all that, you know, you start getting yourself back to society. Yeah. I mean you were essentially a cage. You were in a cage. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't really do nothing, you wanted to do whatever you wanted, you know, you were you're a prisoner, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So okay, so how did it then go from there? What was it? So you just start hitting the studio. Man, fuck this shit. Let's get to the toxic shit. You wanna get right into Let's that? Let's get to the toxic shit. I'm trying to get to the nitty gritty, nigga, make niggas mad at me. <laughs> Let's get That's... niggas mad. All right. So, who's the best rapper in the game and uh, mainstream and in the local scene? Uh, in the game, YB. I agree. It's simple. Why? Nobody though? fucking with him. Why? Shit, that nigga just raw. What makes him different from everyone else? Bro, you nigga raw. Niggas, niggas, bro, you don't see YB copying nobody else. That nigga, he started his own trends, you know what I'm saying? He, every time somebody catch up to his trend, he on to something else. And he been like that since 2016. Since 2016? 2016, he been like that. Because a lot of people would say, you know, 2016, if I can Niggas didn't even know about YB back then, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I did, but now, yeah, now a lot of people, a lot of people would say 2016, I was probably... Uzi's run, I would say a lot, a lot of that. A lot of people say that. Yeah, he went, he he, he went at the head of the game. He didn't start getting to like the head of the game until like 2018. Yeah, 2016 is when kind of Uzi. Yeah, that's when the Uzi came out. Yachty, mm-hmm. Twenty One Savage. I think that was that class. All that Kodak shit, all that shit. Yep, Kodak, all that, and that's when that came up. But well, best rapper in the game and local, T Wood. Stop it. Okay, why do you think that though? Because there's some people that would have a lot of various different answers. Uh, you, know, you talk to you go down the street you know, talk to people you know you might hear oh gtr goldie you know free him you might hear nathan penny you know or you you might broaden out all the way out to you know the oshkosh area you know there's young sage you know there's people all over the place you know what i mean you know and yeah. it's, it's all up for debate so yeah. what makes you feel like you not rapping as long as most of these people for one motherfucker you're supposed to be confident about themselves. So. like if you're doing something you're supposed to had a, had a goal in your mind to be first place in everything. And even if you're not in first place, you still supposed to say that. But all the motherfucker got to do is look at my numbers. That's all the motherfucker got to do. Okay, you know, so we, let's... We, we compare and contrast. So how many, how much numbers do you think you have total on YouTube streams? I know Fake Love got, what, like 58, 60,000? Something like that. And then you got Running that's got, like, 15, 20K. Yeah. So you probably put up... How much streams you probably got over across all platforms? Probably over 150,000, 200,000? Yes, yeah, something like that. So probably somewhere close. And you've been rapping for how long? A year. A year. Yeah, that's a, that's only, a lot of numbers in one year. Yeah, I only released three videos on YouTube and like five songs and all. You know what I'm saying? So why do you only have five songs out? There's people that drop more than that a day. Yeah, that's their problem. That's the issue. Okay, well tell me why <laughs> that's the problem. Good, motherfuckers ain't trying to hear all that shit. You not you not YB. You not you know we you we is in Green Bay, Wisconsin. So do, you, do you think people fuck up dropping mixtapes, all that? Yeah. Because I know people who drop two three tapes. You know what I mean? There are people who have they drop songs weekly. The only yeah, the only time um, that really benefits you is if you got an actual fan base. You know what I'm saying? You a motherfucker if you ain't got no fan base, you 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 drop an album like. But it's what Alex just told me, and I had to understand that because I was thinking about you know dropping an album. I think like, everyone wants to. Yeah, everybody wants to. You know what I'm saying? But like, you gotta be honest with yourself. If it put put yourself in in the, in the listener's shoes, if if you see a local artist that you barely know, or say you do know, him, and he he just dropped a twelve song album, you you ain't finna get past three of them songs, even if they is good. You know what I'm saying? Because most it's true. Because most... there's a lot of artists that on a national scale, unless it's someone yeah. I, I truthfully really like, like you know, like Lil Wayne, yeah. Young Boy, you know. I don't even do Kodak. that with YB. I don't even like YB drop an album. I don't even listen to all the songs. I'll probably, I, I do. I, I don't. I you feel me? I'll probably listen to them eventually, or 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 the ones that's hot, the ones that got the most numbers. But I'm not. I'm not listening. Oh, right, let me sit down. Let me. Let me turn the lights off and listen. You know, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't doing that shit. I don't no, give a fuck who it is. No, I feel you. So, you were saying that, you know, basically drop mixtapes, all that, basically a waste of time. It's a waste of time if you ain't got the platform. Straight like that. Simple. So, why should anyone listen to you? Shit. You, because you I, got, I could get in the car and listen to anyone I want. I could listen to people like Tupac from all the way back then to people hot right now. Why should I spend time on my day to listen to that name day I woke up? She, you ain't, oh, wait, wait, what you mean by that question? So I can get in my car right now, right? Yeah. I can put anyone in the world on for music. But you're telling me that I should put you on, Dende, right? Aren't you, aren't you basically essentially saying I should listen to your music? 
Yeah, but I'm why saying why should I do that? For one, good music, and for two, like she has the problem. Like every city is like a, especially Green Bay and Milwaukee, all that shit. It's like a crab in a bucket. You know what I'm saying? Explain. Nobody want to see the next motherfucking win. Like, do you want to see the next motherfucker uh, win? Just, you just look at my Facebook, my Snapchat posts. I'm some, I'm always showing love to motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Even if they don't do it back, I don't care. It's just it's more for me than it's for you, than it is for you. You know what I'm saying? Like I always be post, we post somebody shit. But I just feel like. So you think no other artists around here really show you love, or do you think there are some? No, they do, but it's like, it's like. I do it without having to ask a motherfucker. You, you know what I'm saying? You ever, I I'd have to ask the the next rapper repost my so shit. You'll, so you'll you know see something. You'll just you know off whim. Yeah. Just boom, repost you. You got to be like, oh hey hey bro, you you want to boom boom. You feel me? And I, um, I don't, but I don't be tripping on that shit. I do that shit one time. What's up with? You feel just me? Like that. I never I never I never fuck with you on no type of level, no verse, no nothing. And if I do a verse, with you on tax him. Is that what? <laughs> Gee, I'm tax. I'm tax him. Is that why you don't have a lot of features? No, it's just how, many, how many features got a, you have? I got I got one feature with AMD. Shout out to AMD, put this shit up right here. I got mm-hmm. one, bro, cause it's more like no, I got features that I ain't I ain't released yet. Why? With, Why are you releasing? It's timing. Everything is timing. So explain your timing process. My timing because process. Because your your time process is very unique compared to most artists. Oh yeah, for sure. Very different. For sure. Do you My, have a a plan for all your drops? Do you make a schedule? Yeah, yeah. I try to do it like once a month. Okay, what's the reason behind that? Because not not it's not too much music. Like I said, remember, you, ain't nobody want to listen to all that shit. Like even yeah, if that true. shit cut, you anybody trying so to listen to that shit? So you drop a song. What's the rollout plan with? Let's say you got a drop for August. Do you what's the, what would be your plan behind it? So these other artists are gonna listen to this and say, okay, I want to do what T Woods doing. I want to be up like T Wood or maybe somewhere on the same level. If, how, whatever, if I drop worried. if I drop a song on August first, all platforms, okay. Yep. I'm going to promote the fuck out that shit. How are you going to promote? YouTube yeah, you ads. You have to give all the sauce if you don't want to. Uh, oh, oh no. Yeah, Nick's got to pay for that. I forgot. <laughs> you got to pay for this. Nah, fuck that shit. We, we all trying to win. So so is it pay for or y'all trying to win? Which one are you doing? All right. Okay. We all gonna, it's enough money for everybody. All right, come on. It's enough money What's for everybody. What's the sauce? YouTube ads, playlists. Like, playlists is so important. Like, so Spotify you, playlist. Spotify, okay important like words and word words to mouth i could tell good to repost my shit on his story but like that ain't gonna do as much as, as his playlist is gonna do you, know you can only saying? get so far to exactly posting word to mouth exactly and, and that's why people only that's why i was maxing out with a thousand views and, and, and you think these and, people are getting a thousand yeah not a lot of people get a thousand also i, I, I didn't good i did them justice by that i think so mm-hmm. backtrack you know, you do the YouTube ads, you put a video out, you do Spotify playlists. So, so if I drop a song on August 1st, right? Yep, August 1st. I'm gonna promote it, promote it, promote it. Are you it. dropping a song August 1st? No, that's just... We no, just, no, no, but now I want to know, are you? I got to. I, now nah, I got to. All right. Now, August 1st, next is, song. Damn, it's the... Okay, I got to. Fuck it. All right, August Fuck 1st, it. next T-Wood drop. Yeah, Interview right. out before then, you just got the info. Man. All right, keep going. And then, I'm going to promote the fuck out that shit. Um, then uh, when I'm promoting that, I'm uh, already had uh, the music video in, in you know shot, All, either already shot or in the process of getting shot, you know what I'm saying? But like, we got backtrack before you even drop the song, you got to do promoting on the song, mm-hmm. and uh, you got to make sure your cover art good. Like, like, do you think cover art's important? I do because I'll be honest with you, I'm gonna keep it absolute buck with you. I don't think it's important. Say like I think it I think let me put it like this. I think it's important to an extent, like if something looks good yeah. off some scene, they might be like, Oh, let me whatever. Let me on it. But at the end of the day, if the song's fire, it's fire. It's not important for like a motherfucker that's already established. Like YB, that nigga could just drop a, a black a black picture on every song. Just like that. You know nigga. what I'm saying? Like, that, he but like, track one, track two, exactly, track three. Exactly. But but for a local artist, a motherfucker that's coming up, everything gotta be sold. Close to perfect, that yeah, so someone gives you a chance. Yeah, well, just, I feel don't want to give people chances. Yeah, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck, fuck, fuck them because I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock on so many doors. Somebody gonna say, yeah, I just need one person to believe in me. Well, you that's a me? you know I have I get a lot of debates with people, and it, a lot of people be the artists who are not as lit. I be debating this with or people, you know, they'll be like, oh, I'm gonna make independent, independent, independent. But 
I think people need to realize the amount of successful independent artists is very small. Even the artists that people say they're independent. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, Young Dolph. You know, I met Young Dolph. But he was not he went, independent. He, went, yeah, no, he, he was not independent. He would say he always was. He was not. You know, <laughs> even even Russ, who, you know, you know the guy who always was, yeah. he signed a distribution deal. I think that distribution deal is not being fully independent. Yeah, yeah it's more independent than signing a record label. Royalties but and yeah, shit. You're still getting out percentages. You're still doing stuff in the day. It's not being fully independent. You know, and that's the thing, the reason why these artists on labels make it so much farther is because they have such a big a budget, a, label. a budget behind exactly. their stuff. And that's what pisses me off. And I, I mean, it pisses me off when artists think they can drop music and just say, oh, I have talent. I'm going to drop music. I'm going to break. You know, I know it's your interview, but I'm going to say something here. You know, a lot of people need to learn. You know, this is going to be one you'll see. This is going to be the be best segment right here. Good night. <laughs> talent does not matter. Mm -mm. I hate to break it to people. Mm -mm. If talent mattered, then everybody in Green Bay will be put on. Well, no, well not everybody. No, we ain't but, say everybody, but I, I know a good ten motherfuckers in Green Bay. There's a lot of people who have talent. Yeah, that's better than motherfuckers in the industry right now. But yeah, but it doesn't it's, matter. It's money. It's all about money. It's your gimmick. It's your image. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of how you look. Networking. Yep. All, all that, that shit. It's, it's all about who you know, not what you know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, you can know. All that be talented, but if you know certain people, you can make a lot fire other people. Yeah. Would you sign to a label? Hell yeah. And, and, and I'm going to say this. I don't give a fuck what that deal looking like. Just as, long yeah. as, just as long as they ain't fucking me, like just, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if they offer me a low, low boy. So, all right, all right. So, let's say uh, a rep from uh, Island Records walks in. Right, I've talked to reps. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They say, I got 10 Gs for you. 10 G's I'm taking it You take 10 G's Taking it But but check it out It's only gonna be For a short short term So okay Let me draw this up quick Uh, 10 G's uh, I want one EP One EP But I'm, I get I'm But they it. get 100% Of the royalties of it Everything But they'll But they'll give you 10 G's They'll toss 10,000 And they'll promote it though. They'll promote it So your name's definitely Gonna go up But oh, yeah. you ain't gonna Make a oh. dime off it No I'm making a dime Cause I got that 10,000 Good night <laughs> Just like that I'll Good take night. my 10 I'm, G's I'm gonna invest the fuck out that shit What would you do with that 10 G's? What would I do with it? You don't have to like give every um, bar for um, bar detail But what would, what would be some of the things you would consider doing? Uh, I would I would get a feature I'd get a, I'd get a good feature with that motherfucker Any uh, or, certain artists you'd have in mind? With 10,000 well, He gotta be industry for it to be worth it So and he gotta be like My goal right now is I want to do like every feature from now on. It got to be with somebody who who I can benefit from. You know what I'm saying? So elevate you to elevate me because I feel like that's what everybody should be doing. Like that's why motherfuckers be charging to for a feature because my platform is gonna boost you. Yeah. Me me doing this song with you not doing nothing for me. It's only you helping you. It's only helping you. So why not, why why am I not charging you? You feel me? And that's why There's I don't. There's not care. a lot of artists around here that have you know any features. Unless, and, and, most of the artists, yeah. unless they mess with me, that's the only way they get it. Exactly. Even, even then, you yeah. know, they're not necessarily the biggest features. No, ain't nothing wrong with it. I don't, like, bro, features is is cool and all, but like, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? It, it, ain't, it, it ain't necessary. Like, I only you definitely do it, don't need a feature to bro. I'm only doing a feature with a motherfucker I fuck with. That's why I ain't got that many features. You feel me? I got, uh, I got feature with people I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't be doing all that shit. Like, hell yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, no. So yeah. what would be an artist you would consider doing a feature with for the 10 G's? 10 G shit. Uh, we, can, we can up a little bit. We'll just say, we'll just, well, who would be an artist you'd want to do a feature with, period? Like three artists that you can really think of, like, bam, I would want to do a song with them. Shit. Only three, though. Kodak, YB, and Rod Way, but none of, them, none of them doing that for that low. So. Well, that's what I said. Bro. You feel me? But, like, they, they, those are my, like, go-to features, like, period. Like, since, since we're talking about Kodak, we're on that subject. What do you think Man. about what do you think about Kodak and Six Nine doing a track together? Man, that, that just back. dropped, dude. Man, get that back, nigga. Get that back. And niggas, niggas, niggas gonna be hating, but they would do the same shit if they had that one million. Did you listen to the song? No, I ain't listen to it. Yet. I listened to the song. Hey, it should be playing right now in the video. Hey, <laughs> but I heard what he said though. He said he said something like, oh, I don't know what he said. Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that shit. So but, I got I got a question for you. Yeah. Would I do it? I think I think you know I'm about to ask you too. And I think ninety five percent of rappers would you know lie on this. If six nine FaceTime you right now, got your number, FaceTime me, said, Hey, 
Hey, T. Wood. I'm not talking about he paying you. I'm yeah. saying, do you want to do a song with me? Do you want to collab on a track? Would you collab with 6 9 no, Let me tell you something. The I feel like a lot of people listen. right now in this interview just hit the volume up button. Would you do a song with Takashi 6 9 ine hit you up? Let me, let me tell you something. There ain't no more street code. You feel me? Like, niggas, niggas out here praising rats. Like, niggas out here praising snitches. Like, I, I praise rats. You feel me? I fuck with 6 9 ine I'll say it tenfold. Now, let me tell I've you said something. that numerous times. Season 9, he the most popping Latin rapper in the world. In the world, folks. You feel me? That nigga, that nigga go overseas. The Number whole one. come on, stop it, nigga, stop it. I don't give a fuck what you niggas think. You niggas watching me. You feel me? Yeah. Stop it. So you would do a track with him? Stop it. Right now. Good night. Sleep tight. Would you go on tour with him? Stop it. Six nine. You go on tour with him too? Yeah, yeah. So you do the tour, bro. Everything. Bro, we rich, bro. What can the nigga I would say? Love that. I didn't snitch. Did I? Did I snitch? I don't think so. Do do. Hey, am I doing a crime with this nigga? I don't. I hope not. Shit, what I said. What I said. This nigga a uh, 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 dime of weed. <laughs> Hell no. Nah, but shit, let's do a song. All right. Baby, stop it. Nigga, you know, nigga, a lot nigga, of people. You know, nigga gonna lie. Nigga a gonna, lot nigga, of people lie about. Stop that. it. Nigga, nigga, nigga gonna try to lie. Try to act like nigga. Your homie a snitch. Yeah. Your brother a snitch. It's you true. Be, you be you be you be breaking bread with this nigga. Stop it. Just like that. Come on, now. Good fuck with this nigga. Got a rainbow, rainbow hair and heat. Come on. So do you think his music good? What do you think his actual music? Hell, no, I don't listen to that nigga. But, <laughs> but be, before he did all that shit, yeah, he was, was popping. I like, listened. That gummo, that gummo, yeah, that yeah, yeah he was hot. cold. That nigga, yeah, that nigga was cold. But, but after, after that shit, nah, I don't fuck with him no more. But like, I like, see, nah, call me, you shit. Yeah, if you hear yeah. the Takashi, if you hear this, you know, I, I I met you. You probably don't remember, but I met you in Hawaii back in 2018. Mm. If you uh, somehow remember this. Call my phone and we can get a song in mm. tomorrow. Yes, sir. We can, we can get that shit rolling. Yes, sir. So what's your recording process like when you make a song? Are sorry. you a, a writer? Do you freestyle? I'm a, Do you... I'm a writer. That's good. I'm a writer. I like to think about I like to take time to every boy and make it mean something. You want to hear something that pisses me off? Mm. And this is very common. People say, I freestyle that shit. I don't like a they, motherfucker. They, uh, they punch in, punch out. It's not freestyle. I hate to break yeah. it. A lot of people will always say I freestyle that. I don't. You're all yours right in your head. If you say two lines and then stop mm -hmm. and then punch back in two lines, you're so, not. So what artists in the game you think really freestyling? You think anybody really freestyling now? Like one punch? Like a whole track? Yeah. No, I don't think anyone. I don't think it's smart to. To just boom, boom, boom. You're gonna, it's gonna be choppy and shit too. I don't think it's smart. But I mean, like, I, I mean, probably just some, some niggas. Some, did. some niggas make that shit sound good. Like all them niggas in yeah. Detroit. Yeah. Them niggas be one punching. Like, you know, you be seeing them vlogs on YouTube. They they be they be one punching that shit. And, yeah. they, and when they fuck up, they be like, ah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, they, be, they be doing their thing. I think Juice shit. World probably straight freestyled songs just because Juice World was, you know, he was that really mean, good at freestyle. One, one in the generation. Yeah, you know what I mean? That was, he was a different kind of artist, you know. Yeah. I, mean, I haven't, I have you know, I've been in a lot of studio sessions, you know, with obviously local artists. And I've only seen one artist I can really actually genuinely think of that was just actually freestyle. Monte. No, um, well, Monte could, yeah, but Monte he was more punch in, punch out. But yeah, he can freestyle, but I'm saying straight freestyle is Muncho. That was the only Muncho. Person. Yeah, he was yeah. straight freestyle. But he don't really make music like that, but I'm saying at the time, you know. He liked that, though. Yeah, he definitely he could. Liked he that. definitely yeah, can. He liked that. To. It's just, you know, he, it's on his time. That's mm -hmm. how it is with him. So what do you think is your best accomplishments you've had so far in your career? In your one year as an artist? Oh, no. I feel like just... Just getting on stage. It's so it. performing? Yeah, just performing like, like, cause I got stage right. But like, like when I get on stage, like I don't feel that shit. But like, it's just like the before I get on the stage. Yeah, you, you get know nervous. What I'm so like, so I what do like, you do to, to, you know? I be getting drunk as hell. Just straight you, you chugging know, alcohol. You, well, you know I be getting drunk, <laughs> bitch. But like, I, that's how I feel. That's how I'm, you gotta do what makes you feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't got no vices. I don't smoke. I don't do none of that shit. Like, but like when when I drink. Before I get on stage, that's when I, that's when I feel like I'm not. I'm, I'm do not you think you're the best at performing at any local artist, or do you think there's anyone that are better? No, no. So you not, can no, you no. can swallow your pride and say this person better. Yeah, 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 for sure. Like, yeah. Who do you think is the best local artist? The best local artist that I ever seen. That perform, perform. That's. Mm, I say that nigga Sage. He 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 got the most confidence that I ever seen. Like like that nigga he, he the most confident and that and that and when the crowd see that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like a motherfucker see you if you nervous, you know what I'm saying? But like the best performer that that what's that what's that nigga name? Um 
We was at the A&R show. He was doing that, all that demonic ass shit. Oh, A.O. Dante? Yo, my mom. Yeah, he is raw. That nigga, he's that definitely nigga. raw. Right. You know what? I'm going to send him this because he's going to be... He might not even know who you are. Or he right. might know exactly who you are. All right. But either way, he can make damn. Right. Shout out to T-Wood. All right, that nigga... When I say that nigga, ah, when, he, when his eyes roll back and he got to doing that... Mm. All that extra shit... Yeah, right. that's second right. level. You, when you get goosebumps when a nigga performing, that's how you know he doing his thing. Yeah, he definitely doing that. I got goosebumps. All right, well, since we're in that kind of question, I guess, you don't got to rank them, but, you know, it's everyone's fair part of the interview. What's your uh, top five? You don't have to rank them local artists. You know you're going to leave someone off that either didn't, you know, either didn't make the cut or you're going to be like, damn, I forgot them early. Yeah. What you yeah, got? it's a lot of niggas. It's a lot of niggas that's cold. It's a lot of niggas that's not. So... If I don't miss you, shit. It, it is what it is, man. You didn't make the cut. T Wood ain't fucking with you. Simple. No, as no, no. It ain't that. No, not that. Like, it ain't that. Like it's a lot of niggas. You know, I only got five ashes. Shit. Man, if you if you need honorable mention, no, you know what, I mean? but, what we got? What we got? Come on, let's go. Shit. Um, not in order though, unless you want. Let me do uh, Penny. Nathan Penny. All right. Roy. Okay. Uh, uh Stack Boy. Sage, Young Sage, okay. AMD, AM, AMD is raw. AMD code. Yeah, okay. You got um, one more. Uh, JJ, JJ, okay. That boy raw. Is that is that your five? Any yeah. album mentions? Or are you good with your five? I'm cool with that. You cool with just your five? Hey, if I ain't miss you, you know I fuck with you. That's my honorable mention. Good night. Good night. Straight like that. So what's your next upcoming moves? Give me the next six months out. Shit, you tell me you my manager. Oh well, what, hey, oh, I well, can't, I can't say this. Your, it's shit. your interview. Damn. All right, all right, all right. I'll answer my own question. We got, he's got some, some good drops coming up. Knew that. You know, a couple shows maybe. Knew that. You know, may, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a feature. Ooh. Uh, mm, but but you know, I guess uh, we'll we'll see when we get to that spot. Six nine. And uh, maybe maybe six nine. You know. I, I don't hate that idea. All right, these niggas don't hate that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people hate they that, especially hate when that. you're number one Billboard. You they know what I'm saying? Hate that. And Latin and the United States, all that. So you got any any shout outs? Any any certain things you you want to get off your chest? Anything you you're like gut? You missed this? You fumbled the bag in this interview? Let's talk more about this. Man, just free all my niggas. Free all of them. Your time coming. Be patient. One day at a time. One day at a time. You are gonna see this when you get up. But. For all the rappers in Green Bay, man. Why just Green Bay? Because Green Bay need to hear this. Okay. Tell yeah, them. Man, stay true to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Are you saying people are lying? Man, rap capping the fuck out of crazy. Going crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Does that bother you, maybe? Man, it don't bother me, but like, it's just like, that should, it should bother you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fair. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I ain't losing no sleep over no nigga. Maybe, like, it's maybe an hour or two here and there. But other than that, no, no, no. Not at all. 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a little 15, 30. 15 minutes, motherfucker. Motherfucker, I distract myself. Nah, but just stay true to yourself. Like, uh, like you, you, you agree with this. Like, you can hear when a, uh, a motherfucker lying on the track. You know, I, you know, it's the funny thing is, is like, you ain't lying. You can kind of feel when something's authentic and when something's forced. Sometimes there's some occasions, you know, you're kind of like, oh, mm-hmm. I don't know, but no, I, I when agree. When I see that video, I can look in your eyes. When, when you performing live, I can look in your eyes and tell you not like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah. everybody, everybody, just stay true and, and, and shit. I hope everybody wins. It's enough, like I said, it's enough money out here for everybody. Straight like that, right. you know. You the great thing about rap is you can be the thirteen hundred most popular rapper exactly. and still make a and living. Still, still make a living. You know what I mean? There's rappers that are killing it. I've never even heard of. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And all that, you know? And all crazy thing is sometimes the most popular rappers are not the one making the most money. Yeah. There's a lot of situations underground where rappers. Underground, underground rappers underground that rappers are... winning because they're getting all the money. All the money. You don't got to break. Yeah. No percentages, all that. But I appreciate you coming out here. I appreciate everything you do, you know, as an artist and where you're heading off in your career. But, you know. Hey, I've been slacking lately with this music shit when I'm back now. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, a lot of people be slacking. Man, but, start, you know, start slacking, but it's understandable, though. You know, most people be going through shit in their personal life, you know. Me, like, mental health like, is real, you know what I'm saying? Gotta take care facts. of the mental or, you know, you'll be dead. Facts. Straight fucking like that. You'll be fucking dead. Right. But, all right, T-Wood, it was appreciate you. And uh, right. this is uh, Gut with Gut Talk, and uh, we'll see you the next one, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah, no, I got you. Uh, I agree with that big time.
I wish I would ask you. Oh. Your ass would have said no, though. No. 